Hello everyone. Welcome to JGK Masterclass. Guys, today we will learn about isotope abundance. This topic is from mass spectroscopy and uh, the topic is very important for MSc chemistry, BSc chemistry and uh, for CSIR net and gate student as you can see many questions based on this. And here we will learn about the trick also how to find out the intensity of the isotopic peaks so that if the question comes as MCQ, you can use the trick and find out the relative abundance and its intensity. So let's begin. So we'll see the MSc, previous years of MSc chemistry question, illustrate the genesis and applications of isotope ion peaks in the interpretation of MS. MS is for mass spectroscopy. Genesis means the origin. So we will see first what is isotope ion peaks means. So few points which you have to keep in your mind that the peaks which appear due to the presence of the isotopes of some atoms in the molecule are called the isotope ion peaks that appears only for the molecule or the atoms which are having the isotopes. And if the isotopes are present, then you will see in the mass spectrum M plus 1, M plus 2, M plus 4 types of peak and uh, that depends on the number of isotopes present in that molecule. The relative height of the isotope peak will depend on the natural abundance, how much abundance of this with respect to the molecular ion on the normal atom. So these are few points uh, for the isotope ion peak which you have to keep in your mind. Now we will see the uh, applications. So the very first application and the isotope of carbon 12 is carbon 13. So if uh, we know all the molecules are made up of carbon, so you can definitely find this peak in the mass spectrum. As we know the relative abundance of the two is 99 is to one. So since the difference in the mass is plus one, you will find M and M plus one peak with the ratio of 99 is to one. That means 99% uh, intensity you will find for the carbon 12. Uh, that is a major peak here for the molecular ion and only 1% of it you will find M plus 1 peak. So this is because of the carbon 13 isotope. So uh, we know that uh, chlorine and bromine isotopes are very important and to find out uh, the uh, number of uh, and type of isotope in the unknown molecule we basically use this isotopic abundance technique. Uh, so here we will see chlorine 35 and its isotope chlorine 37. So if you have these two isotopes whose relative abundance in the nature is 65 is to 35. So you will find here M and M plus 2 peak that is for the chlorine 37 since the difference is 2 appears in the ratio of 3 is to 1. So 3 is the chlorine 35 molecular ion peak and one part of it you will have M plus 2 that is 37. So you will see this type of pattern in the mass spectrum if you have one chlorine for 3 is to 1 ratio which uh, governs that you have in an unknown molecule one chlorine atom in the ratio of 3 is to 1. If you have two chlorine atom then you along with the M plus 2 you will have M plus 4 peak as well and uh, the intensity we will find out here you do the square of 3 is to 1 and use the formula of algebra a square plus 2ab plus b square and with the help of that you can do 3 square plus 3 into 2 into 1 and plus 1 is square you will find 9 is to 6 is to 1 so therefore you are getting here 9 is to 6 is to 1 pattern which uh, decide or governs that you have two chlorine atom in the unknown molecule. So if the question comes like this, chlorobenzene gives peak M plus and M plus 2 value in the ratio of 3 is to 1, why? So you can explain the isotope abundance here and tell that since the chlorine isotope present into uh, 65 is to 35 natural abundance, that therefore you get the 3 is to 1 ratio for the isotope M plus and M plus 2 value peak. So by this you can plot this uh, spectral pattern and answer your, explain your answer. The next is bromine 79 and its isotope bromine 81. 
whose relative abundance is equal 50 is to 50 and since the difference in the mass is plus 2 you will have here m and m plus 2 peak in the ratio of 1 is to 1 and so if you have for 1 is to 1 ratio for m and m plus 2 peak that governs that you have 1 bromine peak. So, you can easily distinguish between the molecule is having whether 1 chlorine or 1 bromine. For 1 bromine, it is 1 is to 1, while for 1 for chlorine, it is 3 is to 1 ratio. For 2 bromine, you will have again the same pattern, same formula. 1 is to 1 square, so you will use the same formula a square plus b square plus uh, 2ab and you will find out 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio. For 2 bromine, you are having 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio, while for 2 chlorine, it was 9 is to 6 is to 1. So, you can easily distinguish. And the third is if you have 3 bromine, then along with m plus 4, you will have m plus 6 peak also. And uh, instead of doing the square now for 3, you will do the cube. And by with the help of this trick and the formula aq plus 3ab plus 3ba plus bq. You can find out and you will get the intensity ratio 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 and you can find here the same pattern which governs that your molecule is having 3 bromine. So in this way by using these uh, formulas and tricks you can identify what type of halogen atom and how many number of halogen atoms are present by seeing the molecular ion peak. So if the question comes, explain the reason for the existence of M and M plus 2 peak for the molecule containing bromine, you can explain based on its isotope that occurs in natural abundance 50 is to 50, you are getting 1 is to 1 peak for M and M plus 2. So isotope abundance you can explain here. So last example, if you have a combination of 1 chlorine and bromine in your unknown molecule, so, you will have M, M plus 2 and M plus 4 peak. The ratio is given 3 is to 4 is to 1. And how we are getting this, uh, we will find out this pattern with the help of you write down for 1 chlorine 3 is to 1. For 1 bromine, you have 1 is to 1. And then you write side by side and multiply for 3 with 1 is to 1. And then multiply 1 with 1 is to 1. And write in this manner and add it up, you will get the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 1. And so, you can identify the pattern for the molecule having multiple halogen atoms as well. So, I hope you understood this trick and the formulas and the isotope abundance. I hope you can use all these methods to solve all your questions for not only for BSC, MSc, but also for TSI and F and B examination. So, all the best. See you in the next video.